The Young and the Restless, Spoilers, Unmasking Jordan's Deceit, a tale of suspicion, betrayal, and the ultimate showdown. Nick Newman had always been a man driven by a fierce sense of protectiveness for his loved ones. But when it came to his beloved Sharon, his anxiety was reaching new heights. The woman he cared about was in danger, danger of a kind he couldn't easily see or fight against. Sharon's health had taken a turn for the worse, and it seemed that all her recent treatment had been riddled with complications. He couldn't shake the suspicion that something was terribly wrong. Something didn't add up about the doctors treating her. What if one of them wasn't even a doctor at all? Jordan, a woman whose ability to manipulate and deceive was legendary, was lurking behind the scenes. Her deceptive talents had become almost a trademark. From changing identities to seamlessly blending into any social setting, Jordan's skills were unmatched. People trusted her, and she was able to slip in and out of places undetected, leaving behind only confusion and destruction. But this time, her scheme involved Sharon, and Sharon's life was at stake. The plan Jordan had concocted was simple but devastating. Slowly poisoned Sharon, bringing her closer to death, one dose at a time. She had been giving Sharon subtle doses of a dangerous substance, hoping that the effects would eventually lead to a terminal condition. But there was one thing Jordan hadn't counted on, Nick's relentless pursuit of the truth. Nick had been suspicious for days, watching over Sharon with an eagle-eyed vigilance that bordered on obsession. Every new doctor that came to treat Sharon seemed to add another layer of mystery to the situation. The constant presence of new faces made it even harder to keep track of what was real and what wasn't. Sharon had trusted these medical professionals, but Nick's instincts told him something was terribly off. Every time he saw a doctor, he felt a knot in his stomach. One face in particular stood out to him, the older woman who wore a mask every time she entered Sharon's room. Something wasn't right, and Nick was determined to find out what. He decided to take matters into his own hands. He had been following the doctors for days, keeping a careful watch. Today, the woman with the mask had returned, and this time, Nick wasn't going to let her slip away unnoticed. He made his way into the room, his voice a mixture of anger and fear. Show me your credentials, Nick demanded. His voice was firm, authoritative. The woman hesitated, her eyes darting behind the mask as if looking for a way out. But Nick wasn't about to let her go that easily. She had been too elusive, too slippery for far too long. He wasn't about to let her escape now. The doctor, now visibly nervous, stammered in response. I, I don't have them on me right now, she muttered, avoiding eye contact. Her words were shaky, her body language was stiff, and for the first time, Nick could see the cracks in her facade. Nick's suspicions were mounting, but this was the moment where everything would come crashing down. I'm not leaving until you show me proof of who you are, Nick said, his tone leaving no room for negotiation. The woman continued to stutter and shuffle nervously, but Nick wasn't backing down. In a moment of clarity, he raised his voice, loud enough to send a ripple through the entire house. I need someone in here. Now! His voice echoed down the hallway as he stood his ground, refusing to let the imposter escape. Before the woman could make a move, Nick had already pinned her down his eyes burning with determination. She struggled weakly beneath his grip, but Nick wasn't gonna let go. Call the police, he shouted. This woman is a fraud. And with that, the facade was shattered. The woman's mask fell to the floor, revealing her true identity. It wasn't a doctor at all, it was Jordan. The woman who had been poisoning Sharon for weeks was standing right before him, her eyes wide with panic. Jordan's face was a mask of shock and fear. She had been caught, her carefully laid plans, the years of manipulation and deceit, had all come crashing down in a single moment of failure. The reality of the situation hit her like a freight train. She was going to be arrested. She could feel the cold, tightening grip of defeat as the sirens grew louder in the distance. Her time was up, but in the midst of her panic, Jordan could still feel the sliver of hope that lingered in the back of her mind. Ian. Would Ian be the one to save her from this? She knew how far he'd go for her. Ian had always been her backup, the one who had helped her escape trouble more times than she could count. Would he show up now, at the last moment, and whisk her away from this mess? But as the police arrived and handcuffed her, Jordan's mind raced. There was no sign of Ian. 
Her heart pounded in her chest as the realization sank in. She was truly alone. The plans she had so carefully set in motion had all fallen apart, and now she was facing the consequences. Nick stood over her, a mix of relief and rage on his face. He had saved Sharon, but the victory was bittersweet. There was a part of him that still couldn't shake the feeling that this was just the beginning. Sharon's life had been in danger, and they had just barely escaped disaster. He wasn't sure if Jordan was working alone or if there were others involved, but one thing was for certain. He would protect Sharon with everything he had. As the police led Jordan away, she looked up at Nick with eyes filled with desperation. You don't know what you've done, she spat, her voice venomous. Nick's response was cold, unwavering. I saved Sharon, and that's all that matters. In the end, Jordan's plan had failed. Sharon was safe, for now, but the future was uncertain. What other threats would emerge from the shadows, and would Ian ever appear to try and rescue Jordan? Only time would tell, but for Nick and Sharon, one battle had been won. The war, however, was far from over. <laughs>